So you think you want a high-drive puppy. I can't tell you how often I have heard people say that they would like their next puppy to be a high-drive puppy. My comment is usually, be careful what you wish for, because it may come true. Many people don't know how much work it is to raise a high-drive puppy. The fact is, most people are simply not equipped with the skill level to be able to raise a high-drive puppy. Take a good hard look here at Andy being Andy. Very few people could handle a puppy with drive like this. In the beginning, like the first 15 minutes, it's easy to say, well, isn't that cute? But what about two hours from now? Or what about a week of this when the puppy's still demanding four times the work of raising a two-year-old human? Puppies like this require management 100% of the time. They not only need to have their physical needs met, they just as importantly require to have their mental needs met. That's why you see three boxes and a whole pack of toys in this exercise pen. Puppies are like two-year-olds. When a two-year-old child gets tired, they get cranky and they throw little fits. It's the same with little puppies. When they get tired, they get wound up like you see Andy here. And if you're not prepared to deal with this, then you have a problem. When puppies act like this, the first thing you need to do is to make sure that they can go outside and pee or poop. Then you need to ask yourself if the puppy has had enough exercise. Maybe they need to go for a walk. And finally, you need to know if you're controlling the environment enough and making sure that there are enough toys and items in their exercise pen or in their kennel to stimulate their mind. Can you imagine what this puppy would be like if it were not tethered while in the house or if other owners had tried to raise it without an exercise pen? It would be virtually impossible. The fact is, this is how some very nice working puppies end up in shelters or given away. It's also why reputable breeders will not sell puppies like this to new dog owners. I guess I would compare that to giving a 16-year-old kid a Porsche to drive for their first car.